combination seashore and hill station in one road trip. 100 feels slow on this road. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome back and thank you for tuning in. This is day three, and we are checking out of Kakinada. We leave the seashore and climb a hill now. So we're heading towards Arku Valley. But first, we need to fuel. The only issue I'm facing is my uh, backpack has become a little heavy. I'll need to clear some stuff into the top box, which I will do when I stop for gloves also. Let me just get out of the city. We'll reach the highway and work on that. This is not the route that I took while I came into Kakinada. This actually is another route which goes straight towards Vishakhapatnam. So Google Maps suggests. It's a national highway. It's National Highway 216. The road is actually excellent. Now I just have to stop. I don't know when. Very nice road. Not going into any towns, no bypass. I mean, sorry, not going into any towns, only bypass. We will start climbing after I think about 100 kilometers, that is after we reach Vishakhapatnam. Vishakhapatnam will come to the right and Eastern Ghats will come to the left. There is Anantagiri Range, Anantagiri Mountain Range. This is a nice combination, seashore and hill station in one road trip. Okay, Chennai Kolkata Highway Milgia. I can see it in the map. About five minutes, we should join the highway. This was really quick. If you are coming from Bangalore, you should come all the way till Lannavaram and take the ride to Kakinada instead of going there. That road was bad. Maybe rider Ha. Ha. Arku. 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 Thank you. I slowed down after the toll gate and uh, he stopped me for a pick. It was time for me to take a short break actually. I wanted to stop for tea. I'm actually in front of this restaurant. Why not have tea and go? I stopped anyway. Might as well take a break. Okay, my service due symbol has popped up. It is 797 kilometers. It was nice. I stopped for almost an hour here. Hotel just. There's a nice Buddha statue there. I'll get a pic click through there. The vehicle stands here. So photo session done. It's time to move forward. I've got the charger out because I'll be needing the maps. I'm not sure where the diversion comes, so. I had put it on search. What happened? So from here, it's 147.147. So estimated time of arrival is 310. It is 1150. 
So in the morning when I was riding, it was on the lower uh, setting. So it wasn't much of a disturbance. The view was good. Only when I got it up, I realized it needs to be cleaned. Stopped by this toll gate. Uh, what happened was I was supposed to take a diversion earlier, but Google Maps is not updated. They have actually closed many of the roads which exit from this expressway. So then I'm, I just started going forward as the map rerouted. I think another 21 kilometers. So basically, I'm taking the longer road. It seems like the faster route. I could cover time easily. Very empty road. And not many cameras also. That's a surprise. I'm just flying. So 13 kilometers have to take left. From NH 16, I'll have to take NH 26. Hey, look at that. Vehicular movement is minimal here. Reset cruise control and just let the vehicle do its job. Hundred feels slow on this road. Kick it up a little. I just taken the exit from NH16 and got on to NH26. A lot of forts on this road. Where does this road take me? I don't know. As long as it takes me to my destination, I'm happy. Raipur, so NH26 is from, uh, what do you say, after Vishakhapatnam, goes to Raipur. This is the bypass from Vizhi Nagara. Okay. I don't know if you pronounce that right. Even this road is recently done. Road widening has happened. Freshly laid tarmac. Lovely dam here. Oh, there's a lot of water. Huh? They've just slightly opened up the dam doors, so there's water flowing. I'm going on the other side. But how to click picture here? We'll have to put the bike on the other side. Let me see if I can find the name of this dam. It is Gosthani River. Tattipudi Reservoir Road. Okay. Now the fun part begins. I don't think I've ever uh, ridden this motorcycle in the hills with the panniers. The last hill station I was I visited was in Bhutan. 
and then the pioneers were in the car and the vehicle was light easy to maneuver now with the pioneers let's see it was always a first i won't be riding all the way to arku since my stay is somewhere in the anantagiri mountain range i will go to arku town if possible in the evening or tomorrow Yes, I can feel the weight. Sharp turns and narrow roads with oncoming traffic. Okay. आ गया वॉट अ प्लेस टू हैव ब्रेक डाउन सी द मैप्स ऑल द रोड इज वाइंडिंग अराउंड Lighting is a little less. You can hit lamp. Think. One, two, three. Three lights. So this is my room in Anantagiri Mountain Range. Not Arku. Arku is still further ahead. It has a balcony as well. With one chair. I think they know I'm coming a lot. With a view of other rooms below. This is actually a slope. All rocky surface here. I actually picked this place because of its location. Nothing else. Only for the location. So this is from uh, AP Tourism. It's called Harita Hill View Resort. Now let me quickly change. Fresh up. I have to go have lunch. The time is about three thirty, I think. I mean three. Kitchen is open. Yeah, it's exactly three one. Kitchen is open until three thirty. So quickly change and I'll get back to you guys.